So, uh, I see a lot of videos where uh, people uh, walk around. I usually do driving videos, so I'm gonna I'm going to try my hand at a walking video, okay? This time we walk around pond at Elliot Farm. <laughs> I think that's what I'm going to call title. We'll see. There's a, uh, a gazebo. And by the way, Dries Holmes, if you would like to hire me to be tour guide, please let me know. Or if you would like to help me get anybody out there, help me to get my real estate license, I am trying to do that too. I can talk with no accent as well. So, but I do my accent because I speak a Spanish también, so that way I practice my accent. Keep in mind, I can't speak with no accent. And I don't have to sound like a robot either. How about we have here is a nice pond. And we also have some homes that are under construction. See, but I like to do the Spanish accent so that way I practice it. And that way, if there are people that speak Spanish, I can be more authentic. Okay, so there was no walking path that goes to left a pond right here. But I don't care about getting Adidas sneakers uh, a little bit dirty. So, see, the, the trail, it uh, wraps around it here. And goes back out to the sidewalk. Um, oh yeah, there's a playground, but there's some uh, a mom with a kid there, and I did not want to get them on camera because I did not ask them, and they did not sign no form, and I don't want to get into legal trouble. So we just walk through. There, it's not too muddy today because we have not had lots of precipitation in here in Cincinnati area. So um, well, this would technically be a. I think this is a Warren County, I believe, Deerfield Township. So it's still a greater Cincinnati area, but it's like north of Cincinnati. Oh look, there's a goose. I hope you don't mind being on camera. But anyway, but that's why I'm, I walk in grass right now. So you can see other side of pond. Because I think that possibly, this is an idea, if anyone from Dries Homes is listening, you should put a path around this side of pond so that way people can see other side of pond. Yes, there's a people's backyards here, but you have to figure out where the property line ends and then create sidewalk to go around this pond because I'm sure there are lots of people. Oh, look over there. See, they got fence. I'll zoom in. They got fence, so I'm sure the other side is not their property line. So figure out it. That's my suggestion, Dries Homes. Figure out where these property lines all end. And you need to put the little walking path around this side of pond because it is very difficult to see other side of pond. And if there were sidewalk, then uh, people could, uh, you know, they, they could, uh, you know, I know that a lot of families have this thing where your shoes get dirty and then you go back into house and then you put dirt in house. And then these are all brand new houses, so we do not want dirt in house, right? Casa sucia no es una casa buena. It's just that a dirty house is not a good house, right? So um, my suggestion, oh, you could put uh, some more benches. I see there's a bench over there, but I don't even think there's a, a path over there, you see? Because it's supposed to rain tomorrow in Cincinnati area, so all of this will be mud tomorrow. And nobody wants dirty shoes going through a house. Now, let's see. Well, yeah, I do not see path that leads up to that bench across there. So you might want to include a little bit of sidewalk, blacktop, whatever, to get to uh, the benches. So that way you don't get to dirty shoes. Okay, so we're just going to continue our... We're gonna continue out of coming out. We're gonna keep on walking this way because there are some people, and I did not, I do not have consent form for them to sign to be on camera, and I do not want to get into trouble with the uh, people's individual parties, YouTube, etc. So, oh, they're playing some music in Espanol in this house that's under construction over here. It sounds like a mariachi. Uh oh, old people coming. So, I'm going to put phone down and be quiet for a minute. Cause like I said, I don't have consent form. Don't to get to legal trouble. Yes. Si, sí, claro. Estoy caminando, si. Sí. Si, sí, claro, muy bien. Si, sí, claro. See, that always helps. When somebody walk by and you don't really feel like talking, you just speak a Spanish and then, and then they just think you're a foreign person that don't know anything. But I was born here in the US, so I'm not a foreign person, but... When you speak more than one language and sometimes you don't, when you're busy and you don't want to talk to people in English, you can just start talking in Spanish and pretend you're on speakerphone and call. Okay, I hear the mariachi music coming from, oh, it's this one over here, this one. Okay, so now, where the heck am I? Oh, I'm by fire hydrant, that's good. That's good to have fire hydrant in neighborhood in case there's a fire, that's good to have a hi fire hydrant, yes it is. Fuego in Espanol is fire. So we're continuing on. I don't know what the street is called, and we're coming to an intersection of Nolan or Nolan Orchard Lane. 
something like that. Nolan, Nolan, I don't know how to pronounce. I have to call up Dries of Properties and ask them. Because <laughs> I do not know. I do not know. So this is the intersection of a Nolan or Nolan Orchard Lane and Elliot Farm Away. Yes. Okay. So let's see. Oh, look. Uh, I'll just I'll just take a I'll just take an izquierda or left in English. This I suppose is model home. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose because there's a big sign that says Dries homes and some flags So I take it this is probably like a model home type of thing where you go in and you see and then they build you something that looks similar But different because everything looks the same here, but slightly different. Oh, yes It says model model open. So I was right. Oh look in case you are interested. Here is the phone number Model hours Sunday through Monday 12 to 6 Tuesday through Saturday 11 to 6 513 683 5501 uh, las horas de un model es, or modelo es, domingo, amon, uh, ah, shoot, ay, 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 let me do this again, I got distracted because the Amazon truck just came behind me. See, sometimes I try to speak my second language and then I get distracted. Okay, los horas de el modelo es, domingo, a lunes, eh, medio día, a seis, por la noche, y... También martes a sábado once por la mañana a seis por la noche. That doesn't make much sense. Sunday. Oh, I see. I get it now. Okay. And the phone number is cinco uno tres seis ocho tres cinco cinco cero uno. Okay. Muy bien. Moving on. See, sometimes it's different. When you speak more than one language to uh you know is you think in more than one language and you talk in more than one language it's it's a weird see so customer parking so if you want to see home you I guess you park here i guess you could park on the street too i believe that's illegal because people are parking on street anyway so now i'll see this i guess that goes out to main road uh but i don't know what road that is and i don't feel like walking down that road because there is no sidewalk so we'll continue on Continue at our coming out. What is this? Nolan or Nolan and Orchard? Or something like that. And we'll see where this goes, okay? Alrighty then. Where was I saying? Oh yes, if you, um, you know, sometimes it's difficult when you speak more than one language and you think in more than one language. Most of the time, I think in English because I was a born here. But then later on I learned Spanish. So it gets confusing in my head because I usually think in English, but sometimes I think in Spanish, and then you go back and forth and back and forth and back and forth between the two languages, and then, you know, it gets a, it gets a little bit uh, rough. I also speak a little bit of German, a little bit of Hebrew, a little bit of Russian, a little bit of Italian. <laughs> Not much French, though. I'll tell you as, as much French as I know. Un, dun, toi, quatre, set, wif, narf. And I think that's counting to nine or something. <laughs> and, oh, I know Hennessy. Is French cognac and it's a city in France where the naked ladies dance just kidding that is bad uh-uh I just did not say that that is not bad oh and Grey Goose is French vodka <laughs> and oh French fries French toast um, what else is there oh French baguettes <laughs> okay enough of that see I don't really know oh we oui, we oui. uh, non <laughs> and uh, bonsoir Bonsoir is good night, right? Bonjour. Oh, in Italian is bonjour now. Okay, enough with these uh, foreign languages times. Oh, guten Tag, guten Nagen. There we go, it's German. Okay. Shalom, mazel tov. <laughs> All right. Oh, look. <laughs> this street is called a Sheila Drive. <laughs> I wonder if it's named after that. Uh, you know. But one chick, uh, Sheila B. Or could be man from my mom. I think that's her name. I think. Wait a second. This is supposed to be anonymous. That's right. <laughs> but that's just funny. Out of all names, out of all names to name it. So this is Nolan Orchard and a Sheila Drive. <laughs> that is a funny. We'll just. We'll, I think Nolan Orchard is a bigger circle. So we'll see where this leads, and then I'll probably turn around. Oh, there's lots of basketball hoops on this street. I have basketball, but no hoop. <laughs> maybe I'll just start playing basketball on these random people's uh, basketball hoop things and maybe they'll kick me out. <laughs> yeah, they'll probably kick me out. It's okay. 
Um, I'm getting kind of lazy. Oh, but I see timer on video is only at 10 minutes. <laughs> Yet I'm feeling lazy. What is up with that? I suppose we all get lazy at times, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think my driving videos are easier to do, huh? Because I sit in a car and I don't have to walk. But walking is good exercise. It's a good cardiovascular exercise and it helps to relieve stress and ejercicio mass. Yes, exercise and more. Okay, so now I think I am going to turn around <laughs> in a moment because I am curious to see where other parts of Nolan Archer goes because I think that is possibly a bigger circle. And I don't know. There is no sign that says no outlet though. So if it says no outlet, then what does that mean? Oh look, I, I, I'm not going to, well, who cares? You can't really zoom in anyway, um, to my knowledge. Well, I could have zoomed in, but there's somebody from South Carolina that moved here, according to license plate. Wow, I would love to go to South Carolina right now. now. Not that it's like the most interesting place to go, but I know Myrtle Beach would be there and that can be fun. I've never been to Myrtle Beach, but I've been nearby near to Myrtle Beach. But what I, from, from, from what I hear, that's a fun place to go. Some of my friends went to uh, Myrtle Beach for uh, what's it called a uh, spring break when I was younger, and I, I heard they do wet t-shirt contests. <laughs> I heard about that thing. I think you win money or something. I don't know. It just seems interesting. Now, okay, I'm bored on this street, honestly. <sighs> These houses look a bit different, you know. Yeah, see, I don't know where the street leads. And I don't want to get lost. Oh, oh, never mind. I thought there was a kitty cat on the porch. It was just a statue of a cat. I hate it when that happens sometimes. I think I see doggy or kitty on porch, and I want to go say hi to doggy or kitty. And then it's just somebody who put up statue. How long am I walking? Oh, 12 minutes. I should have brought bottled water. I forgot. <laughs> see, I try to remember things, but then I forget. It's okay to forget things. We forget things, right? Everybody forget things from time to time. Man, I should do another driving video. I don't even have my car keys. So I guess I won't be doing a driving video. Not right now. I'll do the driving video later. Yeah, I do not know where this... I do not know where this street goes. I'm sure it goes somewhere. Um... Okay, I see a corner up here, so I'm going to at least turn the corner, and then after I turn corner, or I get, oh, I see a stop a sign, yes, stop a sign. So I see a stop sign, and yes, at stop sign, I will decide if I turn around or not and walk down other side of sidewalk of Nolan, I think this is, no, this is Sheila Drive, that, and get back to, uh, what's it called, Nolan or Nolan Orchard or whatever. It'd be a Nolene in Espanol. <laughs> in case anybody's interested, probably not. Anyway. Um, again. Adios mio, ay ay ay. Yay yay yay. I don't see a cross street at this uh, stop sign. But then why is there a stop sign? Does the road end? There should be a no outlet sign at the beginning of street if this is a dead end. Because it is important to mark no outlets so that way drivers and walkers know that it don't go nowhere. Okay, so there's another cross street here. Yet the stop sign does not say what it is. Is this still Deerfield Township? You need to wake up, Deerfield Township. You need to have cross street clearly marked so people know where they're going. Uh oh, there's someone in van on driveway. I've got to be all quiet now. I have no idea what this street is. I see there's uh, another street across the street and no outlet. It does not have what this cross street is. I'll have to look this up on Google Maps later. Feel free to leave in comments if you recognize the street because I have no idea what this cross street is. It's not anywhere. Why does it not clearly mark? Is this like some secret street or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, since it's not clearly marked on any of these street signs what this cross street is, I'm just going to go ahead and cross the street and head back down the same street I just came up. And that way I go back to the Nolene Orchard. <laughs> I'll just pass. Yeah, see, there's there's multiple street signs, right? And it does not tell me what this cross street is. I guess it's a mystery road. But see, like, what if you were, um, such as one of my jobs, I'm delivery driver, you know? And so what if you were delivering something and you need to know where you are? It's Why, why is there no street sign? I'm about to look that up uh, later on Google Maps and 
see if that street even has a name. Maybe it's an unnamed road. Maybe they'll name it after me. Yes, maybe they'll name it after me. Or maybe they'll name it Jose. Or Don Julio. Or Captain Morgan. Or Bacardi. Ah uh, ha ha. I have to make... I have to make a drunk joke sometimes because I know a lot of people that are drunks or are recovering a drunks, so I got to make a drunk joke every once in a while. I can also make 420 jokes too, but that's just what popped in my head. So anywho, oh man, maybe I should not have worn bubble vest. I think it's getting near like 60 degrees here in Cincinnati area. But see, I thought it was cold because I was sitting in basement. <laughs> but then you go outside and there's sun and it's warm. So anyway. Feel free to leave in comments if you know what that street is. I'll probably look it up later on uh, Google Maps. But, you know, i got lots of things going on in my life right now. Like a lot of us do. So sometimes I just don't have time to, you know, I don't have time to look up and sit there on Google Maps. Sometimes I do, though. I like to. What I like to do on Google Maps is, like, look up uh, places where I've been that's out of town. And, like, zoom in and be like, oh, I've been there at point, you know. Like, I've been to lots and lots and lots of music venues. I have no idea how many. I'd have to go through my concert t-shirt collection and count. Today I'm wearing a... What concert t-shirt? Oh, a Hailstorm. Hailstorm. I'm wearing a Hailstorm shirt. But I got this one in Columbus, Ohio at Express Live. See, I can remember. But the thing I don't like about this particular t-shirt that I have on is it doesn't have the year or the dates on it. I don't even know why I bought that shirt because usually I do not buy concert t-shirts that do not clearly have the date on it or at least the year. It must have been a really long line. And if you've ever been to Express Alive, it's up in Columbus in the theater district. It's an indoor-outdoor um, music uh, place, which is nice because if it's an outdoor show and there's inclement weather, usually what they do is they just move the, sto uh, move the show inside. But I think there's like a capacity limit thing, so I forget how it works. I haven't been there in a while. <laughs> Neither have I been to Bogarts or Riverbend or uh, what's the one called? Um, out in Novaville. Oh yeah, it used to be at the Dealer Creek Music Center, the Verizon Myers Music Center, and now it's called uh, Real Full Mortgage Music Center or something like that. And where else have I been? What were the places in Chicago called? Now I'm blanking out. Um, I'll think of it later, the venues in Chicago I've been to. Well, I went to Chicago Open Air, which was at, uh, I believe, Soccer Stadium, but I don't watch soccer, so I don't know. And Espanol is football. Um, so I don't remember name of team. And what was that? I think it was Agora Theater or something like that? If anyone from Chicago is watching, correct me on that. It's a little, uh, it's a little, uh, it's like about the same size as the Bogarts in Cincinnati. Um, oh yeah, what was I talking about? Music of venues, yes. Oh yes, oh, one of my favorite was up in uh, Detroit, Michigan. I actually, fun fact, I enjoy traveling to Detroit, Michigan. People think I'm on crack or something. I promise you I do not smoke crack. But people are like, why on earth would you want to travel to Detroit, Michigan? I think it's fun. <laughs> I think Detroit, Michigan is fun. I, I went there to, um, the I think it's called the Masonic Temple Theater. It's kind of like Taft Theater, only a little bit different. And um, I saw Judas Priest and some other people there. It was a really cool theater. And I um, also saw Megadeth show at... Uh, what is it called? Joe Lewis Arena. It used to be um, for hockey team of Red Wings. Yes, that was really cool, except for they did not have the heat on, and the show was like in October or something like that. And um, yes, I believe it was October, and it was getting very cold in Detroit at that time. Oh, wait, I'm at intersection. We're going to take Nolan Orchard. Okay, but anyway, it was very cold at that time in October, and of course, the uh, Joe Lewis Arena did not have heat on. I remember I was wearing jacket and still cold, and yeah, there was it was like I believe a sold out show. Still, it was very cold. But what was really cool is that uh, they had this thing where you know you get to, like kind of like if you ever been to U.S. Bank Arena in uh, Cincinnati, where you have a uh, you know you can buy these seats that you know look down onto what would be the hockey rink, right? And um, then they had floor seats, which I thought was stupid for a metal show, and a lot of people thought was stupid. But I had floor seats that were not exactly the greatest. But then the venue talked with the management of bands, and tour managers negotiated with the venue that they made it GA open floor. And I was like, fourth person in line. 
uh, me and my former concert buddy that shall remain nameless because we don't speak no more. Anyway, but I was like fourth person in line. So, of course, I got a spot right up in front to see a Megadeth. And let's see, what was the order? I think I can remember. A Butcher Babies, open. And then after that, it was a Suicide to Tendencies. Suicidal Tendencies, and then, let me think. Oh, yes, a Mon and Marth. And then Megadeth? Wasn't there another one? <laughs> Why am I blanking out? I thought there was actually five bands. Oh, Metal Church, duh. See, I I blank out because my friend stole my t-shirt. I had t-shirt of Metal Church, but my friend stole it. So that's why I blank out when people steal my damn t-shirts. Oh, I mean, darn t-shirts. So yes, yeah, so the order was then, I believe, it was a Butcher of Babies, and then it was Metal Church, then Suicidal Tennessees, Amon and Marth, and then Megadeth, and it was a very awesome show. When was that? October in 2016. See, my memory is okay. <laughs> But, you know, when you get to very busy in life, it's hard to remember things sometimes. Now, where the heck am I? I think I just went wrong way. Because <laughs> this is not looking familiar. I'll just continue on the sidewalk, I think. I hate it when this happens. <laughs> oh, look, there's a walking path. We'll just take this. We'll take walking path. Because down there, there's some construction and... It's a very windy day, and what I've noticed when I've taken walks around here before is that when it's windy day and there's construction, then the dust just blows on me. <laughs> and then I get my clothes dirty, and yeah, I need to do laundry, so I don't want to get more clothes dirty. Okay, so, oh, I think I know where I am now. This is walking path. Um, also, I did go in a bigger circle. Yay, circle complete, circuit complete. I did not major in electrical engineering. <laughs> Nor do I have a degree in electrical engineering. Oh no, this is someone's driveway. <sighs> Whoops. Maybe we just cut through grass, okay? Oh yeah, this is someone's driveway. I thought this was a walking path. Ay ay ay. Ay ay ay. We'll we'll do a U-turn. Now I forgot what the heck I was talking about. Oh yes, I did not major in electrical engineering, but I know a lot about electrical circuits and stuff like that because electricity is good, no? Thomas Edison, no, no. And let's see. I really should have brought my bottled water with me, man. I forgot. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. See, it gets so confusing. This seems to be a big neighborhood. Uh oh, now there's a person walking dog. I'm going to cross street. Because again, I do not have no consent forms to consent for people to be on my video. And I don't want to get sued by individuals or anything like that. And if this doodle walks the past thing, I start to speak a Spanish again, because that way I'm not in the mood to talk. Si, sí, claro, muy bien. No me gusta. Si, sí, claro. Es la verdad, no? Si, sí. mucho gusto, si. Sí. Estoy muy bien, y tú? Este es un buen día, no? Buen tiempo. Hace mucho sol. Pero viento mucho. Si, sí, es... Uh... 60 más o menos grados de Fahrenheit. Yeah, I was just saying, it's a sunny day, but it's windy. And it's uh, about 60-something degrees of Fahrenheit. Oh, look, Alexis. Anyway. Ah, <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, someone just came outside to hope I didn't embarrass myself. Just kidding. I don't know what that is. Embarrass myself? I have no idea what that is. I think everybody's always embarrassing themselves. Or one another, so embarrass myself. I don't understand. No, 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 entiendo. I do not understand. Embarrass myself. So, anyway, I'm gonna cross the street now. Oh my god, in a moment because the dog dude is over there. Perro! Dog in Spanish is perro. Or it's a little dog, like that little frifrif -frif dog. You say perrito. I mean, if you put the ito or ita in the end, that's something that just means it's a little thing. Oh, look, there's paw prints on the sidewalk. You probably can't tell from the cam camera, but. Man. <laughs> I should have not worn bubble vest to walk around, but it felt, it seemed like it was cold outside, and weather in Cincinnati is a very, uh, very uh, temperamental, it changed a lot, and it was cold this morning when I went for a morning walk, but now I'm going to another walk. I didn't record my morning walk, because I just, I needed to think about my day and my life, and, oh my god, hopefully I don't get to sweaty. I don't like getting sweaty, it's, uh, you know, it's good, you know, when you're working out and stuff, but sometimes it's inconvenient. 
what happens a lot in spring and summer because it's just at least here in the midwest it gets so hot like sometimes i get up to like nearly 100 degrees but we have lots of humidity here i've never been to arizona but i know friends who have moved there and they say that heat in arizona is different is different than uh, like lower in este estado the, the you know the, it's different than ohio the heat, they say it's a, a dry heat is what they call it because uh, something like a no humidity it's like the, the debate is it the heat or the humidity wow i've been recording for 25 minutes now <laughs> I don't know if anybody will actually watch it for the whole 25 minutes. But once I get to... I can't find my laptop charger. But once I find my laptop charger and I get connected to Wi-Fi, I'll look at stats. Okay, here's some people. So it's Spanish lessons time. What should I say? I don't even know what to say. Uh, why don't we do sports? That's what everyone likes, all right? Baloncesto? Te gusta baloncesto? Do you like a basketball? Te gusta el baseball? Do you like a baseball? Te gusta football? Do you like a soccer? Te gusta... Or you can say le, le gusta, or, you know. But we're pretending we're talking to someone familiar right now, so you, you can say te gusta. So anyway, now where was I? Oh, te gusta football norte americano. Do you like what Americans, North American football, what we know as the one that is very violent and has tackling and stuff like that. Uh, te gusta hockey? I'm pretty sure hockey is hockey, I'm pretty sure. I'm trying to think of uh, other sports. Te gusta el golf? Golf is golf. Golf de frisbee. I think that's probably frisbee golf. I don't know. Oh, yeah, see, I have not got lost because I see the little model home thing that I recorded before. Uh, te gusta música de rock? Te gusta música de hip-hop? Te gusta música de reggaeton? Te gusta música de mariachi? <laughs> okay. Uh, rojo, red, azul, blue. Marron, brown, amarillo, yellow, berry is green, violeta, purple, violet, rosa is pink. Ay, yeah, yeah. I probably forgot some. <laughs> At least I got red, yellow, blue, right? <laughs> I think. Rojo, amarillo, azul. Okay, that's all you need, right? Primary colors and you mix them together and la 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 la. Artistas. Oh, te gusta Vincent van Gogh? <laughs> te gusta... Picasso? No, arte. Art is arte. Oh, look, I found the barn. So that means I did not get lost. Go for me. I get lost, um... I think I get lost walking more than I do in car. Because I do not have fancy car with built-in nav, but I have a Bluetooth connection thing in my Honda Civic. And then I connect to the Google Maps, and then that tells me where to go. Oh, I hear the Musica de Mariachi over at the house, the Casa de Sandra Construction. Ay, 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 I feel old. I feel super old. I feel like... I used to be able to, like, go to Sharon Woods or Winton Woods and, like, do the walking path. Like, I don't even know how many bases, how many times. Oh, look, here's a walking path. I wonder if it goes around the barn. We'll, we'll see. We'll see if I get lost again. Wait, I think I already did this. Yes, I think this goes back to a gazebo playground thing. By the way, if anybody from Dries Holmes is watching this, Please hire me for tours. Se habla español también. I speak Spanish too. Um, but, you know. Whatever. <laughs> I'm, Or, if anybody at all is listening, I would like to possibly get real estate license. So, if you'd like to donate to my channel, please leave a comment. And then we will figure us out. Because I would be excellent real estate agent. I do have two college degrees, but... You know. Oh man, there's people at the gazebo. Shall I turn around or not? I don't know. No, I just won't get them on camera because I don't want to invade personal space or privacy. So we'll just look at the sign. Apparently there are... Oh, look, you're not allowed to swim or skate. Well, that's partly good. But it looks like you are allowed to go fishing, catch, and release. Okay, so I'm going to walk by the gazebo right now and... I just pretend I am on phone. Where's the speakerphone? Bueno, hello. Si, sí, maybe. Yo no sé. Yo no sé, pero es un día muy, muy bien en Cincinnati hoy. Si, sí, hace buen tiempo, no? Si, sí. ¿cuál es el tiempo en Nueva York? Si. Sí. ¿Qué es el tiempo en San Juan? Muy bien, no? 
Sí, claro. Muy bien. ¿Tienes hambre? No. No tengo hambre porque uh, estoy caminando. Necesito mi ejercicio. ejercicios. Sí, claro. Muy bien. Ay, ay, ay. Hay personas who got it is in the background is the thing as here. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, your mother no, no, your mother knows some massatari, no? We talk later, no? Okay. Sí, claro. Muy bien. Adios. Ciao. Okay. Oh, I reversed the cam. I wonder how that looked as I was talking on the phone. <laughs> I'll look at it later. <laughs> I don't even know. Sometimes I feel like I don't even have time to watch my own videos. <laughs> oh, look. Jardin. Garden en español is jardin. But it's spelled J-A-R-D-I-N. I believe there's an accent above the I. Jardin as garden. Okay. So, yes, I, I successfully went in circle. You can see Gazebo was there where I started the video. So, we'll pretend this is a video game and it's the end of the world. And um, it's like Super Mario Brothers, and I'm doing the thing where I jump up the flagpole and I get a thousand points. Or if it's Super Mario Brothers on the Super Nintendo, then you know that's the thing where you're you're riding on a Yoshi, and then you hit the A button to get off, and there's that little thing that goes up and down, and you get a million points or whatever. <laughs> I do have my Super Nintendo somewhere. I just haven't hooked it up yet. Ay, ay, ay. So, I, according to timer here, I have been talking and walking for about 32 minutes now. And my phone is going off like crazy with Instacart orders, but uh, I'm probably going to wait till afternoon and nighttime because I actually see better at night. See, the sun hurts my eyes. I have a very sensitive eyes. Plus, I do get uh, migraine headaches and, you know, the sun can mess with that. So, if anyone has, like, chronic headaches or migraine headaches... Uh, my advice to you is to wear sunglasses when you are um, out and about in order to protect your eyes. And don't stare in front of a computer screen or TV screen for too long because it might hurt your eyes as well. Okay, so... Oh, yep, here's another walking path. See, I know this one is a dead end. This walking path, it goes to pond and then it's just dead end. Another thing, another suggestion to you, Dries Holmes. Make this path go around the darn pond, or at least make it like connect with something. It's a pet peeve of my a pet peeve of mine is uh when walking paths or dead ends, they should connect to something. Well, anyway, ten una buena noche or dia, depending on when you are watching this. Gracias por your man. Oh, I, sh I said thank you for calling. Well, Miranda means watching. Gracias por Miranda. Ten una buena dia or noche, depending on when you watch this and. I'm going to uh, end this video now, so ten cuidado, take care, and adios.